So we're just leaving Trabanja, the epic storm last night, flashing like oh you God. wouldn't believe. Um, and it lit, how long did it last? Like all night, wasn't it? All right, night. Basically all night. Um, so it was uh, a, bit, a bit of a sketchy night. But, uh, the rain was coming down and then it would be flashing and rumbling, uh, lightning strikes in the distance. Um, it was pretty epic. So, uh, but we're back on the road and we're heading south again. And what uh, a lovely couple. We oh yeah, we're, we're just going to put a shout out to the guys that um, from Guernsey that we just met on the camping um, up there. And uh, yeah, we had an amazing time. And they uh, even got me in the water. Um, yeah, Car Car Caroline says thank you very much for the inspiration of getting getting her in the water. <laughs> uh, I was making videos, so I didn't even get a chance. Uh, just for you guys. <laughs> so, but it worked out all good, and uh, we had an amazing night last night. Just sat taking it all in uh, until the rain started and then it was a, one of them quick fire throw the chairs in the garage let's get the hell in and then uh, hell let loose but uh, we survived there there's a lot of water around so I'm going to swing the camera around a little bit give you a little bit of footage we're heading to Zadar uh, so let's see what happens today I said yeah I know because I know that we've there's, got... there's the sign Grand Zadar 45 kilometers yeah. So we just stumbled uh, across another auto camp here. Look. It's um, takes all the axi. So if you're down this way with your book that we were discussing about this morning, um, looks like you can get a little bit of a discount in the camping down here. Wherever it is, just around here. Is it around this corner? Back in there, I should think. But uh, there's a skittering of auto camps all the way down the coast. So I just gotta gotta watch out the access. Some of them can be a little bit narrow. But it's all good. Uh, and yeah, and like slopes and ramp, uh, touristy shops. So he's just uh, warming up the hog roast, possibly. Oh, he's grilling the fish by the looks of it. Fish grill. sort of uh, flattens out around here. Quite nice. Sailing boats out there. So that's the exit of Storygrad Palenka. join the main main inland road in a minute it's not far away but uh, certainly uh, some drama going on with these rocky kind of like mountains getting a few spits of rain the sky looks pretty threatening in the distance I think they're still maybe getting a touch of that storm from last night Down on the sea level. Uh, pretty dense 
it's uh, with all the mussels and shellfish. It's the end of Celine. fresh mussels views up the coast that section that we did incredible things. Time to collect another ticket. I should be able to reach it from the window there. There, there look. And we're away. Someone's having their dinner. Split and Zadar, that's where we're heading. So I think it's time to uh, crank up the radio, get the sounds on. I think the year could be 19, 1950, it says on the sign.
one euro. <laughs> that was a very short section, but uh, one euro, so that's not bad. All right, we're going to Zadar, and we can go to the spa shop. Ooh. Checking out the diesel price uh, at one. 55 euro by the looks of it. LPG is 92 cents. So we are now in Zadar, and uh, the last time we came here, we were looking for this camping that wasn't even built. Um, it, they had some like futuristic pictures that we'd spotted somewhere, and uh, we decided like, let's go for it. So we came here, uh, we ended up getting to the place, and there was kind of like this hotel, and we were a bit sort of um, confused, and uh, they was like, no, there's no camping, it's not built yet, but it's planned to be built. So we're back to find out if it's been built which we think it has and uh, check it out They're just still putting in the foundations maybe right okay let's pop on the camera and uh, we're getting mighty close to this parking And we're gonna go in here. Reception. Oh, in we go. Check in. Okay, so we'll follow the. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to park up. get the passports and get into the reception. Calculating route. Our van's a long way from home, it's uh, Turkey. Right, here we go then, look at this. Loads of awards, it must be good. So we've been into the reception, he's given me uh, like a list of availability uh, places and uh, we're gonna go and uh, check it out. Um, there's some like really nice premium pitches. <laughs> so uh, let's go take a look. So, okay, we're in then, so I'm gonna... Uh, turn back where possible. Go around then here. Take the next right. Let's get the sat arm off. Calculating route. Ah, so these pitches on the right are for Axi. Um, if you got like Axi card, they're they're kind of like a like the almost like the motorhome stopover kind of place. If you want them, but um, that's right. But we're gonna crack on down through um, and try and find a nice premium pitch. I'm going to go down, they got grey. Down here, is it? Let me just have a look at this, 30, 30 to 37. Bloody hell, I can't see. Yes. Uh, 100 and something these are. Ah. So it must be over that way. Hang on, it's 30. Over that way, I reckon. 37 there there's 37 so we're, we haven't got there that right. so we need to go a bit this this if we can get down over there then I don't think so there must be a way down there's a bunting across there like. yeah. right how do we get down over there must be down over there yeah. <laughs> what's, 
So what's the numbers on that picture? Hang on, you can see the grey. Yeah, they're grey. 128 to 136. 122. Must be a road down. Ninety-seven to one ten. Ninety-seven to one ten. What's the number on the corner? One four. One two eight or one two two. One two two. Right. I've got to try and find. How do we get down there? Right. Dangerous. Okay. Oh, so well, it wasn't long, and we're actually parked up on the pitch, and it's not a bad place to be. So it came in handy having the trusty little uh, boy here so I could whiz up to the reception and get the number clocked in. We ended up on 128. All the little amenities right in the corner. That grey box is the electricity box, and there's an abundance of water taps there. So tomorrow I'll be topping up the water. Even get a sunbed. How nice is that? There we are on the end of the, the block overlooking the sea. They give you a uh, white wristband to uh, enter the beach. Nice big swimming pool with all the sunbeds around it. Almost feels like we're on holiday. Absolutely, look at that. So I'll have a quick look at the uh, shower facilities and then on the way back around, I'm just gonna have a quick look at the, uh, the restaurant, see if we can uh, spot the restaurant. Let's get up here and have a look at this. So this is looking pretty impressive. Look at this, even got a TV screen up there. Super big, wide washing up facilities. 
washing machines all the way down through here with a lovely tiled top on it look at that but this looks like the men's shower block let's have a little look inside here so absolutely loads of showers and they uh, have all got the um, this like wood paneling on it makes it look really nice look at the size of this in here this is uh, super size of a rain head shower look at that beautiful sinks all the way down through the hair dryer it is looking incredibly nice we were expecting something a little bit special with this one and uh, it's certainly living up to expectations and same over that side all automatic lighting look beautiful showers and absolutely lots of them just what you want all the way down through I think they're just doing the cleaning operation at the moment but uh, how impressive does that look so we're not going to get too carried away showing your toilets but you can get a rough idea of how nice it is in the gents toilets but uh, same format beautiful finished tiles and plenty of illumination looks amazing On the right hand side there's the uh, supermarket kind of marketplace on site just uh, come into the bar area and it looks absolutely incredible look at this bar that is super stunning to say the least Just, just such a stunning uh, bar area, kind of lounge. It looks incredible. Look out through the window of this place. It's electric. Well, then you just uh, drift down through into the restaurant, and uh, it is sea green floor. And uh, how nice is this restaurant coming? Looking in here, it's just a incredible location. Look at that. That is what it's all about. And then you can uh, look through the glass and uh, see the kitchen. Um, and it looks absolutely immaculately presented. And uh, looking back up through the alleys of the bar. So through the automatic door and uh, out onto the terrace and uh, there's the big barbecue at the end and uh, it looks like there's a bit of a spa over there as well. Looks like a uh, kind of uh, gym and a nice spa. Come into the gymnasium and actually uh, get on one of these like, treadmills looking out over the swimming pool and uh, what a view out through the glass and uh, yeah it looks fantastic they've got some very very nice uh, refreshing water on tap and uh, all the towels 